Hello and welcome to Mox Talk, your home for all of the latest news around Florida Southern and Lakeland. I'm Austin Snodgrass. We are broadcasting once a week to bring you up to date on the latest news and upcoming events around FSC and Lakeland. Here are the top stories for today. Lambda Chi Alpha is hosting their annual watermelon bust this week. A variety of activities will be placed around campus throughout the week. All of the proceeds from the event will benefit Lighthouse Ministries of Lakeland. If you have any canned goods, bring them to Southern Landing this Thursday. Monday was the final day to sign up to stay on campus during fall break. Any students who have not signed up will be charged $75 to stay on campus. There are day trips scheduled throughout the week. Stop in to the Center for Student Involvement for more information. Kelly Recreation Center has been a staple in the Lakeland community for over 25 years. The facility was recently renovated to offer more recreational opportunities to the people of Lakeland. The center is now looking for college students to represent the city in the role of a lifeguard. Olivia DeArmond has more. The city of Lakeland is looking for college students to join their prestigious team at the locally renowned Kelly Recreational Complex. Established in the 1930s, this indoor-outdoor facility is best known for its variety of amenities, including the popular Gandy Pool. This 10-lane, 25-yard-long, short-course heated pool is open to the public year-round. Because of its growing usage, the City of Lakeland is looking to recruit qualifying college students interested in becoming a lifeguard. The thing I enjoy most about it is that every day is different. It's not a scheduled routine uh, every day. There's new challenges, new obstacles. I enjoy watching the kids swim and teaching them how to swim and working on it because then they really enjoy it and they're like, oh, they see me out somewhere. She taught me how to swim. The skill set that you would need would be some uh, personable skills, you know, to be able to interact and talk with the public because the public is always coming and asking for your either your assistance or for your opinion about what exercises they should do. Just being able to come to work every day and knowing that you're able to take on the responsibility of someone's life in your hands is just what means the most to me. I have um, saved a life here before with um, several other of our lifeguards. Um, we did have to perform rescue breathing. At first I was very nervous and scared, but seeing it firsthand um, actually made me realize that this job is very important. If you're looking to get in a few laps or just wish to spend your day in the sun, the daily rate is $3 or you can pay $40 for 20 visits. Also, if you're interested in joining the aquatics team here at Gandy Pool, just visit the City of Lakeland's website at lakelandgov.net. For Mox Talk, I'm Olivia DeArmit. Remember students that our monthly convocation is the first Wednesday after fall break. Cole Cresilius, CEO and co-founder of Crochet Kids International, will be speaking. With midterm exams this week and finals quickly approaching, Many students are looking for some extra assistance to help them get that passing grade. Shauna Bober has more on one of FSC's tutoring opportunities. If you're having problems studying for your exams, visit the Student Solutions Tutor Tables. They can help you with a variety of different subjects. Math, uh, the social sciences, which is any of the ologies, for lack of a better word, and also natural sciences, so your chemistry, your bio, the natural sciences, students can come in and really get uh, great tutelage. Tutor tables are open every Monday and Tuesday from 6 to 8 p.m. here in the Student Solutions Center. There's three great girls who are willing to help with whatever questions you have, like not to do your homework for you, but to help fill in the gaps where the professor can't really fill you in himself or herself. Working with students, Sherry and Kelly both have seen study techniques that did not work. Memorization, because you think you have it memorized before and you're like, yeah, yeah. And then like for a test, you'll go in and try to take it and it goes right out the other ear, you lose it. So memorization is not the best. 
technique at all. When students aren't organized, I think that that can be one of the, the biggest downfalls if they really don't have a clear method of keeping track of their time and knowing when everything has to get done. I think second of all um, would be just not knowing how to take notes. When you study, stay organized, take good notes, and talk to your professors. For FSC TV, I'm Shauna Bober. Don't forget, students, that even though fall break is next week, the Florida Southern sports teams are not missing a beat. Men's and women's soccer and women's volleyball are all in action. If you are staying on campus, be sure to come out and support the mocks. And that's our show for today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Austin Sodgrass. Have a happy and safe fall break. And we hope to see you right back here next time.